leaving me with six, six AUEC. Hello, I'm clearly disabled. Welcome to another, hopefully, exciting episode of Adventures in Star Citizen. I've got a drink because I'm thirsty and I'm just enjoying the view. We are currently docked at Baijini Point above the beautiful Arcor, a citywide planet in the Stanton system. You see, I'm here preparing my brand new caterpillar, outfitting it with new engines, and getting ready to go on my first massive hauling trip. I'm hoping it's a good one, but so far we haven't had a whole lot of luck actually finding cargo. You see, today we're going after an illegal cargo called Slam. So, if you like, grab a cup of tea, get comfortable, crack open a cold one if you wish, light them if you got them, and let's enjoy some Star Citizen. Bottoms up! Oh, don't just throw that on the ground. What? what? Ah, here we are. Yes, unfortunately, our caterpillar is in the hangar facing the back. Or, no, I should say facing the front of the hangar? Facing the elevators. Yes, that's the best way to think about it. I love that it has legs like a caterpillar. <laughs> so, I've heard the comparison that this area of the ship, the actual command module, is essentially just a drake cutter. And for those of you who haven't flown that ship, it kinda is. We're on our way to the orphanage, which is on Arc Core down below. And right. So we've determined that the quickest way around this ship is through the habitat. Through there, up the ladder, into the central hallway, turn right, and command access. It, honestly, for a ship this size, not terrible travel time. I'm okay with it. Uh-oh. Can't go anywhere if we can't sit down. All right, we just refueled. I did not buy a new engine for this ship. Upper hallway. No, 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 wait, 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 uh, I'm lost, I'm lost. Right, EVA access. Aha, into the cargo bay, down the ladder, habitation, and elevator controls. My goodness, this ship is large. Go ahead and run across this bay. All right, so we gotta remember to store our ship before we can do any work on it. Right, storage. Straight ahead to the elevators. Galleria. All right, so here we are at Platinum Bay. We're here to buy some new ship parts. Oh wait, we actually need to find out what our ship takes. So let's take a look. Vehicle loadout, select our ship, the Drake Caterpillar. Let it load. It may take a moment. Diesel powered needs a medical rescue, but he's 42 million kilometers away. Sorry, diesel. Oh, whew. I was getting very worried. Okay, so first thing we want to do is change out the quantum drive, which is a size three, and I've got a grade three equipped. So, all right, let's see if we can get a grade two or maybe even a grade one in here. I don't know what's for sale here. We're about to find out. No, don't put it in the backpack. Stored it by Genie Point. Uh, systems. Quantum drives. All right, size two, size one, size three, size one, size one, size one. Oh. Great. They don't have it. That is, that is really unfortunate. They really should let you sort by the size. Well, I can buy a new power plant. Hmm. Well, we certainly don't have enough money to buy the rest of the components at the moment. That is super unfortunate. Now I'm gonna have to look up where the size three, grade one or two, quantum drive would be. I wonder. Ah, oh, well, 
Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Hang a 14. And upsy daisy. That is great. The, the attention to detail is just stupid. I love it. Oh, never mind. It's on Lyria. Did he literally just offer a million? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. We'll be able to see what a caterpillar is like without any upgrade. Taking this thing in and out of space dock is uh, kind of a mini game and an experience in and of itself. Lovely. The main reason I was there is because my character was starving and so was my ship. Oh, our FPS is uh, taking a hit for some reason there. For the first time, an engine that calibrates faster than it spools every time. Uh-oh, someone's already there. That's okay. There's enough to share, right? Ooh. Oh, he did not land his ship very effectively mm, poor guy let's see if we can help him no not quite there yet give him a little goose okay if he truly is going to try and kill me, I'll give him the luxury of the first shot. I mean, that that's probably going to get us killed. To be perfectly honest. We're probably going to die because of that. Oh, did he leave? Looks like he left. Hello. Check around the corners. Ooh, what's this? Oh, dear. Lots of pretty helmet. Mmm, I think I like it. How about this? What? Whoa, okay. All right. Yep, I guess we're wearing this for a little while. I always like the good stuff I find just randomly out in the verse. Anything else worth taking? Nope. Our... Oh god, it was me. Just... Ugh. I cannot describe how much I just scared myself. Alright, so we've got 66,000 worth of slam. And... Altrus... Altrusia toxin. Etam. Alright, so now I look kind of weird, don't I? <laughs> yeah, now I look like a drug runner. Alright, let's get our elevator down. Pretty nice view, not gonna lie. Not a bad view. Alright, now we're going to Reclamation and Disposal Orinth on Hurston. Diesel powered went down again. That guy's spending a lot of money on medical rescues tonight. All right, this is about a three minute travel time. That's over a quarter of my quantum fuel. I am so in love with the big ships in this game. They're just very hard to maneuver. Yeah. 
into the clouds. All right, let's see. My destination is directly ahead. Ah, there it is. The scrapyard. All right, that should be close enough, I think. I didn't see any signals. I don't think anyone else is around, so I'm not too worried about getting shot. Down we go. Impact hazard. Yes. I was almost crushed. All right, now would be a terrible time to have a 30k, so let's just... <laughs> let's sell what we've got, please. Oh, that sounds terrible. Ugh, I feel like I should be walking really slowly and being really careful about where I step. All right, hopefully I can sell everything. Oh, I was nowhere near full capacity either. A little bit of a profit there. I think I sold... I bought that for like 64. Can't remember what I bought that for. I'll have to go back through the footage and see, because I didn't write down how much I had or anything. Alrighty, now that we've done some illegal cargo running and we didn't have any problems, we're going to go ahead and switch over to some normal cargo hauling and just try to see if we can fill this entire thing with loot. Alright. We're going to go to Ita and we're going to go to Ryder. Good. God, this is a big ship. Ooh, sure does take a minute to get out of atmosphere, though. Orbital marker for Ita. And this leg of the trip should take about 20 seconds. 21 and a half. By the way, I am using a little tool off of a website called SC Trade Tools, where I essentially selected Vice as the commodity that I wanted to search for and then put it on pure profit as a search and uh, it gave me everything I needed as far as where to go, what to buy. Unfortunately it wasn't very detailed and accurate as to the stock that was available, which is why I barely had it, you know, 90 SKU or so that last trip, um, or SCU I should say. About 94 SCU I think I had in my cargo hold out of over 400 possible. So, what we're doing this time is I told it to just give me somewhere in the Stanton system around Hurston, which is the planetary system I'm in at the moment. And now that I'm traveling around Hurston, I also told it to avoid vices, which is illegal cargo. And now that I'm avoiding illegal cargo, I think I'm liable to actually find somewhere that has a much higher stock. Either that or I've got to actually pay attention to those uh, journal updates for overstock alerts. That's just something lovely about that. Getting used to the inertia that this massive thing carries with it. Oh, that was not a very good landing. I was pitched forward a little a little much there. All right, while I'm doing this, could you uh, refuel me, please? Oh okay, yeah, how much money do I have? Three hundred and ninety thousand. All right. I believe we need to check out this building over here for storage. Oh, that's habitation. I'm taking up the entire landing pad. Oh, it is. Look at that. What do we have here? Ah, medical guns. Those are nice to have. Anything else? No. I hate going behind the desk. It feels wrong. How you doing, pal? All right, we are supposed to be buying astatine. As much of it as we possibly can. Max available funds. <gasps> okay. Please don't crash. I'm not the religious type, but I'm crossing myself right now. Okay. 400,000. You know, specifically 390. Leaving me with six. 
six AUEC. Okay. I wonder if it's gonna feel different with all this cargo. All right, module one. No, dear. Okay. Obviously, we can't go that way. All right, so we've got to go through the engineering room. Go up the ladder. <laughs> go through the power plant into the upper hallway. Center hallway. Ah, EVA. I want to take a look at it this time. I just want to see. Oh my goodness. I've got a flammable gas on board my ship, and I've got a lot of it. I just want to see all of it at once if I can. There's talk of them adding manual loading to ships in the future. I gotta admit, I do not want that. Unless things get a lot more valuable. I mean a lot more valuable. Alright, let's see what we've got inside. Wow, there it is. There's my booty. That's what a nearly fully stocked caterpillar looks like. Oh, and there's the nearly right there. All right, let's lock it up. Power our engines on. All right, while we're flying. Oh God, I hope I don't get pirated. They're gonna be like, give me some money for your, or we'll destroy you. And I'm gonna have to say, I'll give you six. <laughs> All right. And we're going to Lorval's Central Business District. Yeah, the flight time isn't the problem. It's not even the landing. It's, I'm gonna have to walk through like everything in that city and take a couple of trams. This should be good. If my calculations are right, this should be a hundred grand for a half hour, maybe half hours worth work, 35 minutes. I keep thinking those black arrows on the windows are waypoints of some kind that I'm like, when did they turn black? No, look for the blue. Goodness. <sighs> yep, we're here. Let's see if they'll answer me yet. No, oh, not yet. Have to get a little closer. Oh, I see my landing bay opening over there. It's gonna be a minute before I get there, though. Hope you uh, oh, don't mind me burning up all this harmful fossil fuels in your atmosphere. Gotta start slowing down. No, no, easy. I told you, piloting this thing and landing it is kind of a mini game in and of itself. Oh yeah, get my nose up. My nose is really down last time. Slow my descent. There we go. Alright, this, this uh, landing pad is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Okay, we're here. Oh yeah, how do we get out? Pretty sure we have to go through the power plant, through the jump drive. Yeah, there we go. Down into the engine room, into the lower hallway, to the elevator. Woo! Take my elevator away. All right, we'll get into the hangar area as quickly as we can and store our ship because once the ship is stored you're okay you don't typically even if the server crashes your stuff will still be there i think i've read that correct me if i'm wrong down in the comments about that 318 is going to change so much as far as persistence of course but until 318 gets here, we've got to live with the difficulties of this game and its many eccentricities. Least of which are 30Ks and other horrible events. Please visit us again. Ship is stored. Okay, uh, Hurston Transit. I wish going through customs was this easy in real life. 
Ah, to the Central Business District. This is where I'm going. Oh, look, the train just got here. Fantastic. Now we're just a quick ride on the train over to the Central Business District, into the admin office, and we should be able to sell all of our cargo. Remember, we have... Six AUEC at the moment. And we sold 390,000. So, let's see what happens. Wow. The city of Lorville. Kind of looks like Cyberpunk 2077, to be perfectly honest. Which is saying something. I can tell that it's a bit lower polygon count. But this city is going to be completely redone in a future patch. I have no idea what patch. Maybe before 4.0. At this point, I'm pretty sure 4.0 isn't going to get here until the end of 2024. That's my prediction. My official prediction. Patch 4.0 is Christmas 2024. Well, this place just oozes with decadence, doesn't it? You know, I just realized. I sure hope they buy it all. And I'm not stuck with it. Where do I go to sell things? Ah, okay. All my cargo for 485,000. You know, I started the evening with about 390, I want to say. So, I made 95,000 off that run. So, well, if you don't want to do combat, you don't want to dog fight you don't want to fight anyone really that's not a bad way to go if you could find a lot more legal cargo in the future or if you pay attention to the uh, journal commodities such as going to the journal and seeing uh, here right here commodity price alerts if we went to an overstock sell price of distilled spirits from the galette family farms we could probably buy a shipload of that and go sell them let's see I don't I guess we could try to sell that at just one of the major cities but here right here medical supplies overstock sale price 1575 medical supplies understock purchase price here for 1910 the problem is you've got to go all the way from Rayari McGrath research outpost to CRUL4 Shallow Field Station, which is far. It's it's far away from each other. Awesome! I hope you had as much fun as I did on that one. That was a nice, relaxing ride. No gunfire, no medical beacons. I ignored a couple. I feel kind of bad. One of them was for a million. I'm wondering if that was a trap. <clears throat> Might have been a trap. Anyways. We made about 100,000. Not too bad for a little bit of trading. Thanks for coming along for the ride. As always, I'm clearly disabled. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. Let us know what we're doing wrong here. Let us know what you liked about the video. Let me know if you have any ideas for what to do next. I've got one official suggestion so far, and that is to do some hand mining. So guess what we're doing next time, kiddos? Oh, we're going into caves. I hate caves. Jesus Christ, I hate caves. Anyways. I'm clearly disabled. If you want to see some more action, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. How's it going? Welcome to another exciting adventure of... Oh. Oh, dear. Adventures in Star Citizen. I'm your host, clearly disabled. I now bring... 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 Orbital Marker 4. I'm pretty sure he's just enjoying the view. Which is <laughs> kind of awesome, because that's all I'm doing. Looking at this planet-wide city.